favorite, favorite stories. I used to read this to my girls when they were little. It's called Where's My Teddy? And the author is Jez Alvarello. Jez Alvarello wrote the words for this story. Where does it look like they are right now? I know all. In the woods, you're right. It looks like it's in the woods. Where's my teddy? Eddie's off to find his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Um, but yeah, I Scooby Doo. Yeah, I like Scooby Doo. Yeah, he lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. Help, said Eddie. I'm scared already. I want my bed. I want my teddy. He tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought. There's something there. What's that? A giant teddy bear. Is it Freddy? said Eddie. What a surprise. How did you get to be this size? Ooh, he's so much bigger, isn't he? You're too big to huddle and cuddle, he said. And I'll never fit both of us into my bed. And out of the darkness, clearer and clearer, a sound of sobbing came nearer and nearer. What does it mean when somebody is sobbing? Do you know what that means? No. They're crying really hard. They're really, really crying. Soon the whole woods could hear the voice bawl. How did you get to be so tiny and small? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said, and you'll only get lost in my giant-sized bed. It was a gigantic bear and a tiny teddy stomping towards the giant teddy and Eddie. My Ted, gasped the bear. A bear, screamed Eddie. A boy, yelled the bear. My teddy, said Eddie. He found him. Then they ran and they ran through the dark woods back to their homes as fast as they could. And all the way back to their snuggly beds where they huddled and cuddled their own little heads. They went back and huddled in there. They were both scared, weren't they? I'm not like a super long book. It wasn't a super long book, was it?